So I am inside my Google Meet and I am sharing my Jamboard with all my students. Okay, so today I am going to discuss about how you can share a Jamboard with your students in Google Meet. Now, many of you have been asking me, okay, so I have created a Jamboard. Now, how do I invite others? How do I invite other participants into the Jamboard so that they can collaborate and they can use that Jamboard? Now, that is what I'm going to show you today. And I'm going to show you in two different ways. One in your Android smartphone, as well as how you can do it also on your desktop. So, as always, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because then you will get all my latest videos notified in your inbox. It will come in your YouTube and then you can watch those new latest updates that I am actually giving you. Also, please consider to like and also share this with all your friends and families because this is the platform where you need to share these information so that others can also come and know what this new thing that is going on. So this is Sonit from Techitrickle. So I'm in the first option where I share the Jamboard using my smartphone. So I am inside my Jamboard app and there you can see all my jams that are there. So I click on the one of the jams and on the top there are those three dots. I click that where I have the option of adding the people as add people. I click that for me to add. Now I see I already have another person there. So I click that and you see that I there option on the right hand side. Once you click that it gives you the option of edit view or no access. So no access means you are actually deleting that person from getting access which I do now and you see that he is gone. He is not more there and he is successful. So you see the option blue icon on the bottom. So if you click that you can again go ahead and add another person there. So I do the same and I add another person right at the below bottom you find that pen icon so you click that for him to give access as edit or view so in this case i give him an edit option and and then i submit it for it to update the permissions so i already have given the permission for that person to get added and in this way i can go ahead and add more people but now the actual fun part begins when i will show you how to add it in the google meet so i open up the google meet session and then once i am admitting the person who i want to see the jamboard so i add that and then I do the present screen and I start the presentation. On the right you see the my student who is able to see the Jamboard. So now I actually opened up the Jamboard from my app and there you see that he is able to now see my screen and there goes my jams okay so that's how i actually shared through my google meet the jamboard with all my students and he can see all the slides everything that i am actually showing up now the next option that i have is where i sh share the jamboard on the desktop so i click on the three dots i click on the jamboard and I open up all the jams that are there on my desktop. So I again go ahead and click the option or the jam that I want. But before that, you see on top here, these ones are which are owned by me, anyone or the ones that are not owned by me. But in this case, it is owned by me. And if I click on owned by anyone, so it could be anyone who has the jams. But in my case, it's just same. So I click on computers and accessories and there goes my jam. And on top, you see the one which says share. Now you see that it's only shared with one person. So I click that. And once it opens up, you see that there is one person there added. And on the right hand side, you see it as a viewer. So if you click that, you will be able to see the other options that are available here. So those are the editor viewer or you can make him the owner or you can remove him. So if you click on make owner, you be very much sure that you want to make that other person the owner because then you might be removed from ownership but I will ne definitely not do that so I click on no 
I again click that and I make him the other and I remove him for example okay so if I click on remove he is actually deleted and he will not get the shared option and he will not have this Jamboard shared with him so I add another person instead and let me add him and you see that once I add him he will get notified and you see the option here now as editor or viewer so be very careful here the options that you want him to see so if it's only view he will not be able to edit your Jamboard and he can only check that particular Jamboard that you are actually sending him to be shared with and you see here that the person has been added you go on the right and you see now is shared with two persons so if I again see the email now that person has actually seen that take it trickle has actually invited him to view that particular Jamboard and if he opens from the email he can just click on open in Jamboard and he will be inside the Jamboard that I actually shared with him so I am back here and I click on the share again and now I what I will do here is I click on the dots here and I'll try to remove him here okay so that you can understand if you want to sh remove the share and there you can see that he's gone okay now on the bottom you find the links that you are able to share with your community so that's the place so there are two options here you can either have it restricted or you can share it with anyone anywhere in the internet so right now it is restricted so if I click on change to anyone with the link you would see here that it says clearly that you can have this link shared with anyone else you can go ahead and have it as restricted inside your community with whom you want to just share so anybody who is not having it shared will not be able to access this link so I keep it as restricted I go on top here and I click on that gear button there okay so if you click that it gives you the option where the editors can change the permissions and share or they can also have the omission the options where you can actually download print or copy so it gives you those options if you want to check it check it if you do not want it don't check but I will keep these options here I go back and I am back in this particular site so now in the Google Meet I open up the session I have the Jamboard already ready to be viewed or shared I have a new meeting created so if you still do not know how to create a meeting you can go ahead and check my other videos and you will find how to do it so I do a present here and while I am presenting I will actually share my screen as the Chrome tab or you can also do it as your entire screen so I actually share the Jamboard option here so there you go now you can share your Jamboard in Google Meet so please comment below and let me know which device you are using for collaborating with your students for connecting in Google Meet is it a smartphone or is it your laptop or desktop now there are two videos that are popping up right now on your screen one is about the Jamboard tutorial so in case you are not aware how to use the Jamboard please consider looking at that and also you have how to schedule a Google Meet so that you know exactly what to do so till the next time bye bye